so do you know Christopher? A uh, distinguished guest. It, it, it's a pleasure to be here today for various reasons. First of all, it feels like a school reunion. <laughs> so, Father Shurile, you don't have the keys in hand this time, <laughs> but you're here with your own seat in, in true distinction. Uh, Chris's father, who I, I, I have to recall and, and, and refer to as Mr. Diego, because that's how we other missions keep referring to our, our, our teachers, our, our lecturers. Mr. Diego was my first arts teacher. And uh, he was really our arts teacher, I think he was also our arts mentor. And he was also the person who tried to get me on the road of photography. <laughs> and I'll, I'll never forget my first photography hike with, with Mr. Yedo, because he had taken us, I remember, on a Wednesday, when Wednesday was still a holiday for us at the And we had gone to Hajar Eem and then Marsa Shlok. And I had bought specifically for the event my first camera, which was a hanging house. And it was in the pre-digital cameras days, where you obviously had to fix a cartridge of a film in your camera. And I took, I don't know how many pictures or exposures on that day. And I proudly went back home in the evening, told my mother I had taken about six cartridges of films. <laughs> And I decided to open the cartridges, <laughs> expecting to see the lieutenant <laughs> explosion. <laughs> but that, that, that says a lot for the lack of my skills in photography. <laughs> I've obviously realized that Mr. Diego had a much better result with his children, and with Chris in particular. And that is why I'm, I'm really happy to be over here, because I don't really wish to delve into the issues as to the challenges which, which, which Chris has had throughout his life, and in his life. Uh, I think David really hit it spot on. Uh, special skills. And, and we are here to celebrate, in truth, the exhibition of an artist. That's the truth. And that is the bottom line of it. Because for everybody who has seen these pictures, these photographs are the established and accomplished photographs of a photographer who has an artistic talent. And you will notice that there are two issues which at least me as a layman have impacted on me. One, the human element. You've managed to capture people in their true form. If you look at the pictures of Valletta, you really see the Valletta feeling of the Valletta people. It, it, it's there, he, he, he can touch it. And he managed to get the characters who are at near St. Paul Street by the San Paolo Naufrago, uh, holding up their arms, joining you to, and asking you to join them for a drink. Uh, and the other characters in the Santa Maria Festa, with three women with their shoes on and another woman without her shoes on. <laughs> it's a pity I have no photographs of Hamro. <laughs> I am looking forward to your mother's <laughs> sort of my roots of Hamroon, and there are quite a few characters in Hamroon who will be willing to, to, to set forth for you. <laughs> but then there's also the eye for architectural detail. So it's not only a human element, but it's also an architectural detail, which I'm sure that Patrick Fennec, who's somewhere in the background, uh, is, is, is quite envious of as well. Because if you look at the pictures he's taken of the London Eye, and the O2, and, 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 and the pillars, and, and, and the steel cables, uh, it, it's incredible. So we are here to celebrate, I think, this exhibition of an accomplished photographer. An accomplished photographer whose talent was exposed, as we know, at the Mick Jagger Center in 2009. He exhibited in New York at uh, a renowned exhibition, which is 2801. 28 on 27th Street, Gallery, and I'm sure that this is just the beginning of, of, of a long career. So, Christopher, it is my honor, honestly, to, to welcome you over here in this Auberge Royale, which hopefully soon will be a, a, a gallery of art. This is what we want to take place over here. And your exhibition in this yard is part of this process of us hosting world 
class art. Photography today is about accomplishments, and what you have given us today is definitely a step in that direction. Thank you. I really wish you all the best.